So finally guys, Windows 11 stable official release has happened and we have Windows 11 and we can install it right now on unsupported PCs also because Windows will support unsupported PCs but we can't go from the official way. We have to download an ISO file so I will tell you all the steps how to do it and we can install it in, in a laptop and in a PC like just like me and I have a second generation Intel processor and I can install Windows 11 also and developer version is already working and that's good and I am also going to tell you how to install Windows 11 right now if you are getting the notification that you will get the Windows 11 soon enough but you can install it right now how I will tell you but before that press the red button and subscribe to this channel and if you like this content then do like and share this video thank you so let's get started warning interruption from the future if you are going to install this Windows 11 stable version on your Windows 11 developer version, then your C drive, which is the Windows home, like Windows, which uh, in which drive the Windows is installed, it, it is going to be formatted. Other drives will be intact, no problem at all, but C uh, drive will be formatted. So make sure you backup all the data before installing this method. Okay, so that's all. And also, if you are installing from Windows 10, to Windows 11 stable version and your PC is not supported, don't worry, uh, your data will be not lost. Also, this method which I am telling you, you can do without a product key also. So if you don't have a product key or you if you don't have any Gen 1 Windows, then also you can upgrade from whatever Windows to Windows 11. So right now I have Windows 11 developer version and I will switch to stable version. So either you have a Windows 10 which is not supported also. So the same steps will be taken care of there also. So let's go and just open google.com and just search media creation tool Windows 11. Okay, so you will get it and just enter it. And the first link you will get, just click it. And that's really easy to do and you just have to see that okay there are three options you will get for installing the windows 11 and it says that if you are upgrading from windows 10 and if you are proper uh, up to the requirements then please wait for the update otherwise don't do it but you can do it it's not a big deal so if you have uh, so first option is that you have to install windows 11 installation media so for that some requirements are there like if you are upgrading from Windows 10 to Windows 11, that's that's there and you should have a Windows 10 license original and this uh, Windows 10 should have a version of 2.004 or higher and then this will work and 9 GB of installation of Windows 11 will be required in your hard disk space. So that's it and it can easily be installed and uh, it has no problem at all. And if you want a media creation tool, like if you want to create a flash drive or a pen drive, then you have to do this Windows 11 installation media and then this and that and the same way that we used to uh, install Windows 10. If you don't know how to do it, so I will give you a I button video so you can check out there how to install the same way you can install the Windows 11. And the third one which I, we are going to do that we need a Windows 11 ISO file so that we can temper it and can fix the TPM and then we can install it. So let's go and before we begin this one, I, we don't have to learn this and all. So we have this and we have to select the product language which is English and then confirm. So we have 64 bit download, yeah. So we will click this download and it will start the download without any worries. You don't have to go into Windows Insider program or this and that. Nothing. Just a layman guy can install the 64 bit download. Okay. So verify your download. This, that doesn't matter. Yeah, it started. So I've already downloaded to make your time save. So let's just cross this and let's open the Windows ISO. So we have this and let's open this. So let me just by the time tell you what's my configuration what's my laptop configuration you can also check why not win 11 a app which i have discussed or in a video detail in a detailed video uh, you will find the video in the i button and just let me just show you so it's just getting the info so as you can see i don't have a uh, secure boot it's legacy boot architecture is okay cpu is not compatible obviously second generation two cores four threads they needed uh, CPU frequency is also good. DirectX is not 12. Uh, it's not GPT. Uh, it's needed GPT, but it's MBR. 8GB RAM is good. Uh, Secure boot is not there. 
and storage is available and TPM version obviously TPM is not available so these are the things which should be there but I don't have it and still I'm using Windows 11 developer and now I'm going to use Windows 11 stable so guys we just found out that tpm files tpm error fix files are not working so please don't do that so we will try another method which i have already made a video on this on uh, you will find the video on the i button that how to make a pen drive for windows 11 and it will think that you are installing windows 10 but actually you we will be installing windows 11 so let's go and what we have to do we have to just search google.com and then search for windows 10 media creation tool okay so windows 10 media creation tool here we go and you just have to open the first link and then you have to download this download tool now that's all and you have to double click and it will start and after some accept and this and that you will see this so you don't have to upgrade the pc now you have to create installation usb drive so you have you should have a 8 gb or above pen drive so i have a 32 gb pen drive i'm using it now we have to click iso file so that it uh, make a iso file and save it in your computer so it will ask me to where to save it so we can save it over here on documents and just click yes save so we have downloaded the ISO file. Now we what we have to do? We have to make the pen drive bootable pen drive with Windows 10 ISO. Then we will change that to Windows 11. So how we will do it? I will tell you the step by step. So first we will uh, make the pen drive. So these are the settings. So let's go for this and let's select the Windows 10 ISO. This is the Windows file, Windows 10. So we have to select it. So what we have to do? It's on GPT. So we have to go to MBR because it's a older format and GPT is latest. So our BIOS will open automatically and it will uh, do the thing. And so we have to uh, do this only. That's it. NTFS, you keep it at NTFS only. And then that's all. And just ready and just start. Don't do anything else. It's already good. So just do it this. So it will automatically format the pen drive and it will uh, make it at NTFS. So that's all guys so let's close this so our pen drive is ready and make sure that your pen drive uh, when you are for, uh, making a pen drive from rufus so try to make it ntfs because the se second step what we are what we are going to do we can't do this without ntfs so what we have to do we have to click this size we have to go into the pen drive and sources and then size and then see this install.esd file just delete it yes delete it and just copy paste a new file which is which will come from windows 11 file so where we have to go we have to go to windows 11 we are windows 11 iso which we have copied already and we have to go to sources and then we have to copy the highest file size so we have to copy this and we have to paste it on this pen drive why we are doing this because this will make the pen drive look like that okay uh, we are installing windows 10 but it will install windows 11 also if it is not ntfs if it's fat 32 so uh, the pen drive will not detect uh, the file because it's very high heavy file single file of more than 1 gb or 2 gb doesn't consider a copy paste in fat 32 that's why it's very mandatory that you do from rufus only as an ntfs otherwise it's going to be difficult for so guys we have plugged the pen drive so now we will reboot it and maybe it will format or maybe not let's see so we have to just restart it and then we will go to boot menu and let's install windows 11 stable version so either you can press keep deleting uh, keep pressing delete button and f9 f12 when we are going to start again I believe F9, F12 also and delete also would work. Let's see, we have to boot from pen drive. So when you start the PC, you will see that there is an option of F12 boot options. So we see F12 boot option, so we have clicked it. Hard drive, USB storage device. Press any key. 
from boot USB so it will boot from USB now so it has booted from USB hopefully this method should work and we will be able to install Windows 11 so yeah all good so let's go next install now So we don't have a product key right now at least so we will get the windows 11 home okay so let's go as you can see we are seeing windows 11 home but we are booting as a windows 10 thing so that's a good thing we are doing it and yeah If your computer is already installed on this computer and you want upgrade, remove the installation media and restart your computer after Windows has started normally. Our main is SSD and which is this. So let's go. So we are forcing it to install the new Windows, Windows 11. Windows 11 home we have selected but make sure you have the key if you have Windows uh, 10 home key then you have to select Windows 10 home 11 home only if you select Windows 11 Pro maybe the key will not work or something will happen so finally finally so many problems we are installing windows 11 stable release pretty easily no no it took me a while it was not easy it was not easy man so we will skip this and we'll meet you later So guys we have successfully installed so let's see what's happening now so guys I think we have installed Windows 11 successfully that's really great and sorry for the bad quality of video because my camera battery has died so finally guys we have installed Windows 11 successfully and we are just setting up so my method worked and I've showed you and it's working on my laptop which is not at all compatible with the windows 11 requirements so finally guys we have installed windows 11 stable version successfully on my laptop and you know how unsupported is this pc was and uh, so uh, one more thing i want to clear out that you will get proper updates don't worry i was getting proper hardware updates and this and that so you are, you will be getting the updates no problem at all but microsoft has issued us a statement so i will uh, keep the link in the description that if your system does not meet the requirements so this this can happen so i will uh, tell you that please read that and then start this method otherwise something can happen so i don't guarantee anything but i am trying and i am getting you the method to do it so you can do it and hope you like this video so do share and do like because I have given a whole day to make this video because I'm, I was trying many different methods and it was not working. Also guys if you want to support me then you can use my links in the description like Amazon, Flipkart, Mintra, Ajio if you want to shop just click it and add to cart and then pay and all. You will be paying the same price whatever it's showing but I will be getting something to help this channel that's all. So thank you दोस्तों वीडियो देखने के लिए उम्मीद है आपको वीडियो पसंद आई होगी सब्सक्राइब आप लोगों ने कर लिया होगा लाइक एंड शेयर कर दीजिएगा अगर वीडियो अच्छे लगे आज के लिए बस इतना ही टाटा बाय